Soaking up the splendid concoctions, explosions of flavor. Check the ill culinary behavior. What up, gangsters? And welcome once again to Size Hip Hop T Shop Blog. And it should be an interesting one today because I'm trying an unknown tea. This is uh, something I bought off a customer at work, and um, yeah, I have very little idea as to what this tea is beyond the fact that it's called uh, that it's Salon. Now, the uh, the company's called Basilur, I think. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, the Basilur Tea Company, and it's the Winterbrook Tea, which, according to the back, is um, pure Salon black tea with papaya, safflower, marigold, sunflower, and and I find this particularly special. This contains the Christmas Holy Night, Christmas Holy Night flavour. Now, I'm not quite sure if that's a bad translation or this genuinely contains, contains distilled Christmas Holy Night, but here we are. So, I am gonna, without further ado, get this going. So yeah, like I say, this is a black tea salon, which is a, which gets its name from uh, where it's from, which is Sri, Sri Lanka, formerly Sulon, uh, a country famous for its little sweet shops on the edge of town and shopkeepers who, instead of guard dogs, have uh, bloody great Bengal tigers, or at least uh, I seem to remember somebody telling me that. But yeah, still. <laughs> so yeah, I've uh, this came with absolutely no instructions. The website I managed to find a website for Basilo Tea, and it's immensely unhelpful. And so I, yeah, I've just, I've just taken a blag, a, a, a teaspoonful per mug with water at 100 degrees. I'll uh, give it a quick sniff for you. Oh, bloody hell, that actually does smell like Christmas night. I mean, it's sort of, you know, it's, uh, it's a very strong smell. It's like kind of a sultana's in there, there's orange, like cinnamon. Like it's, uh, there's a real spiciness to it. And yeah, it actually really does you want me at Christmas. I take, I take the mickey out of it, but here we are. <laughs> So yeah, um, what just uh, fill in a couple of minutes while it's still steeping, I'll uh, just point you point out the music you're listening to today. I was in a next men mood, so uh, uh, the tune you're hearing at the minute is "Get Over It" by the Next Men, and uh, depending on how long this video runs for, uh, it will be going to uh, what was that tune called again? It will be going to uh, listen to this, which is also by the Next Men. So yeah, I reckon I'm gonna stir. Like I say, I'm, as always, playing it fast and loose with the time for your uh, benefit, but I've got my notes here. Let's so, uh, give it a pour. So it's quite a dark liquor, as you can probably see. If not, have a look. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, again, to be expected. Oh, yeah. And now again, like, you know, as, as to be expected, like, it does uh, the smell lose a lot of its potency with the water around it, but I mean, it, um, it, it lets this sort of, uh, sort of layer of kind of almonds coming through, and it's uh, still a very cinnamony kind of, uh, it's kind of smell, there's like a very definite hint of the nuttiness of almonds and that. Oh man, it's, like, it's been crap weather today, and I swear, tucking into this this afternoon is absolutely stunning. So let's, uh, let's uh, give it a go. Oh, yeah, it's it's pretty goddamn stunning actually. It's a yeah, very faint cinnamon taste still there. Like I say, there's still the sort of almondy taste, which is uh, which is lovely, and there's almost a hint of sort of like spiced apple in there, which I uh, find really interesting. I mean, it's almost like a kind of Christmas cakey sort of taste, like a. Uh, it's still like the, it's still got like a massive sweetness to it, which is uh, really good, really good. So yeah, I mean, uh, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna rate this for you guys, I'd definitely give this an eight, maybe even an eight and a half, depending on what the weather's like outside. It's definitely what I can see myself curling up with it on a on a cold winter's night just to get a bit up myself. <laughs> so yeah, that's a, not a bad purchase for something completely random. I'll uh, try and decipher the website and see if I can get any more because uh, the other stuff I, I mean this was pretty cheap for hundred grand. So uh, let's see what happens, eh? So yeah. I think I'll call it a day there then. So uh, yeah, you guys have fun. That's the uh, Winterbook Salon Tea from Basila. And yeah, you guys have fun. And I'll see you guys again on Tuesday. So yeah, peace. <laughs>